start removing the end caps. If you cannot get the end caps off with your fingers, you can use as well pliers with flat claws. Remove the freewheel body. Take care, inside of the freewheel body, there's a small spacer which needs to get removed as well. First spring, two ratchets, second spring, and then there's a small spacer sitting on the axle, which is sometimes hard to get off, but you can use a tool to help to remove the spacer. We start now removing the bearings. We start with a non-drive side, Use a soft hammer to hammer the bearing out. Remove the axle, pull the axle in the opposite way. Use a bearing installation cylinder to guide the axle and then hammer the second bearing out. Now with all the parts removed from the hub, we can start to clean everything and check every part for any damage or if it needs to be replaced. Especially the bearing seats, the splines as well of the ring nut. Check as well the splines of the freewheel body. Take as well a closer look on the teeth of the ratchets. If you can see there any damage or abuse. Now mount one of the installation cylinders in a solid vise. Before we start to assemble the hub again, we will put some grease on important places like the bearing seats in the hub shell, both sides. as well a little bit of grease on the axle. Put the hub shell over the installation cylinder. We will start with the drive side bearing. Pull in the hub shell the axle like this. Then take one of the new bearings, make sure you put it in the correct way so the colored side need to be placed outside. On the other side it's black. So the orange in this case need to be visible. Use the second installation cylinder to place the bearing. To make sure 
the bearing is really correctly seated, take the hub shell and the axle out and with some more hammer strokes you make sure the bearing is correctly seated. Then place the hub shell the other way around over the installation cylinder in the vise, pull in the axle the correct way. Maybe like this it's better visible that way. Use the second installation cylinder to place the second bearing as well with the colored side looking outwards. And then you can see the second bearing. Now we can check if there is still any play or the axle is not moving smoothly. So if this is correct and it's working perfect, we can now start to assemble the freewheel system. For the freewheel system, we will need the DT Swiss special grease. Start with the ratchets. Just slightly grease them, not too much. Take the second ratchet, push the two ratchets together and the grease, which will get squeezed out, can be used to grease the splines of the ratchets. Don't forget this small spacer and place it over the axle. Take the first spring, put it inside the two ratchets. The second spring, the silver spacer with the edge inside of the spring because it will guide the spring correctly. Now we can already check if the ratchets and the springs are working correctly. A little bit more of the DT Swiss Special Grease to put a little bit of grease as well on the splines of the freewheel body just a little bit. We can now take a look if the seal on the freewheel body is still correctly mounted and we can use here a little bit of our universal grease to make sure the seal is sliding smoothly in the hub shell. Pull the freewheel body on the axle until it's correctly seated. To make sure the, the end caps will seal as well correctly, use a little bit of universal grease on the end caps as well. the non-drive side to finish everything. Finally, check if the ratchets are engaging correctly. Take care, the axle is spinning smoothly and then everything is ready to be reinstalled into your bike.